chat to you about how my life is going, my life updates. For the ones who's never been to my channel, I'm Yerem. I was a medical student up until this month and I'm finally, finally, finally done. Starting with the sunscreen. A lot has changed in the last couple of months. I finished my final exam, I also finished my last placement as of this week. This whole transitioning to adulthood is like exciting but also like really scary at the same time. I'm using clear kill cover mesh glow cushion. I look forward to being a bit more financial independent and start a full-time job. But at the same time, obviously, I'm scared about the responsibility and then you don't get a designated holiday. I feel like I'm still young and I have lots to learn. But when I compare myself to like, say, six years ago, I know I've matured in different ways and I'm excited to see where I'll be heading in the next six years. For the brow, I'm using Pear Pear Speedy Skinny Brow Number no. 2 Dark Brown. I wanted to share about some lessons that I've learned through med school. And just a disclaimer that this is my personal experiences and some people may have different views on certain points. The first lesson I've learned is to never compare yourself to the others. It is something that I'm still working on, I have to remind myself every time. You will encounter a lot of people who seem so far ahead of you, who seem like they have their life together, whether that's academics like they're smarter than you, doing more research, or just life in general like social status, financial status. For eyeshadow, I'm using Wake Make Soft Blurring Eye Palette number no. 8. There will be times where you feel intimidated by people that are around you and you feel very inferior about yourself but that's the truth like there are people who would be genuinely better than you In the world of billions of people do you really think there won't be a single person who's better than you? Probably not The point that I want to make here is not to tell you that you're just a mediocre human being It's to tell you so what if they're actually better than you? Who cares? right? There is no point of comparing because you are the protagonist of your own life. It's okay to compare if it becomes a source of motivation but if it becomes a cycle of despair and also comparison and that's when you know that you gotta quit it. For eyeliner I'm using Wake Make, <laughs> Wake Make Real Ash Brush Eyeliner number no. 2 Ash Brown. My second tip is to work hard but take a break sometimes. Sorry, I can't really multitask for this. I'm not saying that you should not work hard, you still should try your best. The biggest ache for me for a guy is when they just sit and hope for something to happen when they're not actually doing anything. It's like, dude, what are you doing? You know, there's a difference between being delusional and being hopeful. I'm using this to curl my eyelashes. Yeah, so working hard is good, but not to the extent where it's completely consuming you. Recognizing the signs of your burnout is also very important. I definitely had several burnouts this year during school. I'm a very emotionally stable person, so my emotional state is very like stable. But this year is just like everywhere. Some signs could be if you're crying a lot more, if you're being annoyed at people, or you're just emotionally like flat. Those could be some signs of burnouts. For eyelashes, I'm using Kiss Me Mascara. Burnout is inevitable and it's probably the sign that you've worked hard. When you recognize these signs, it's equally important to act on them. Whether that's taking a walk, playing your favorite sport, computer games, cooking, baking. These can really help you to get you out of that burnout and also prevent you from getting one. Sometimes it's okay to just breathe and enjoy what you like to do because you deserve it. You worked hard. That leads to my third advice, which is finding your niche. Oh, okay, 
this is what I do to my lashes. I know it looks really, really scary, but what you do is you just like kind of burn it. Ooh, it's hot. And then just curl your lashes a bit. It gets rid of all the clumps. Yeah, so back to where I was. It's finding your niche. What's something that makes you really, really happy or enjoy doing? For me, that's baking, that's cooking, doing a foodie trip, meeting up with friend, making the time to do these things versus you doing these in your free time is very different. It'd be good to set a time, it could be a day, maybe several hours to do these things would be important for your mental and psychological health. I feel like I could never be beauty beautiful, I forgot to mention, I'm just pinching my lashes together. For blush, oh, upside down. For blush, I'm using Benefit Dandelion. My last advice, advice, tip, lesson, anyways, is to surround yourself with good people who give you good energy. Especially when things get stressful and you feel overwhelmed. Those are the people that you would be relying on and be going to. For my highlighter, it's a Korean one, Dewy Moon Highlighter by Glint. I really struggle to, um, what's the word? Connect? Yes. I really struggle to connect with people who are very pessimistic, so I try to stay away from them. Stay away from people who take the energy like out of you, instead of giving you the energy. And also express gratitude. Be the positive person for them, and vice versa. It's not a one-way relationship. When you, when you... My room gets like so loud. Like this. Whenever I sleep, I hear this. But anyways, using Roman Juicy Lasting Tint. But also like don't treat them as your emotional dump truck where you can throw in a lot of the life problems, life crisis. Because ironically then you're becoming like the negative person for them. It's really important that you express gratitude and treat them as the same way that you want to be. Treat them as the same way as you want to be treated. Yes. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in for my life chats. Life crisis. Yes. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Take a gap year. <laughs> oh, like, don't, don't rush it. Because it gets harder too. Yeah, just... What take a life? break. Mm. Take a break. Take a gap year. Mm. Life is long. Mm. Grace. Okay, big laugh from everyone. <laughs> some funny comments with you guys but before that I might make some myself an ice matcha latte everyone's been drinking ice matcha latte and I feel like I'm missing out so I want to make myself one My grad book and my ice matcha is here. We got asked five different questions that we can answer, and I'm just gonna pick out like the funniest one. First question is What will you miss most about med school? Being time rich, the least otherwise poor. 
Sorry, I'm just a vet student. It's literally like the jail free card. <laughs> oh, everyone, friends. Next question is what could you not survive vet school without? Ankies. Yep, definitely. Anki helps, guys. Use Ankies. And there's a postpone function as well. I used it too many times. <laughs> Chat GPT. <laughs> Bubble tea. Yes. Third question is most embarrassing or memorable moment? This is a good one. Most embarrassing moment. During my geriatrics term, I asked an 87 year old female about her period. <laughs> okay. We reported a patient as arousable instead of rousable. <laughs> when I volunteered my phone to use as a torch to illuminate a scrotal mass, I didn't know there was going to be a full sack on the phone contact. <laughs> what question? Most unremarkable comment. Full stop. Let's move on to the next one. Most memorable quote from med school. You should have done physiotherapy. <laughs> My life is like this chip, long and soggy. Let's do some wholesome one as well. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Still a doctor and loving life. This is so wholesome. I would have built a house somewhere along the coastal towns of Australia and bought some land to plant mango trees, turning it into a decently sized mango farm. I'll be working on my mango farm with my wife and kids. All in all, in 10 years time, I'll be comfortable and happy in the company of my friends and family. This is so wholesome! Do you think that you haven't aged, but like, we look actually like fetuses here? Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's crazy because like, you meet all these people, and then you will never see them again. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna really cherish those moments. I'm gonna miss the time being a student, not having the responsibility, having actually a set time for holidays. I don't know where I'm gonna end up in five years time, but hopefully somewhere nicer than now. All the best to the people who are graduating and moving on with their life. Cream cheese, sugar, some flour, cream, egg yolk. Also, egg white needs to be in the fridge. Everything else has to be at room temperature. You want to use some spatula to soften it. It's like a different entity to New York cheesecake. It's airy, it's very light. I like it more than the New York cheesecake since it's lighter and it doesn't really feel heavy. Now just let's add a third bottle of sugar. For the rest of it, I'm going to use a cream. it too much otherwise the gluten will form and the cake won't be soft and adding lemon juice I like the type who needs everything to be there when I'm baking otherwise I'll definitely forget something added a teaspoon of vanilla now it's time for meringue with a baking sheet really thoroughly really really thoroughly now into the oven Hey Google 
your 10 minutes, starting now. I've lowered the heat down to 140 degrees and you want to cook this for about 40 to 15 minutes. I think it's all cooked now, so I'm going to take it off. Okay, I'm just going to pop them in the fridge and leave it overnight now. Done. I'm also gonna do like a creme brulee on top of this. Ooh, make it fancy. Ooh, dear. I was inspired by this super cheesecake place in Korea. I think they're called Chipsle. Cheese and souffle. Oh, hear the sound? Baking is so much patience and so much cleaning. This is the aftermath. But I find it fun. Especially when they turn out bad. Going to pack these up and give it to my friends. 